The present-day conversation around foster care in the United States is not a topic that comes up as often as highly debated subjects, but it surely plays an important role in our society and maintains its own issues that must be addressed. One of these is the challenges foster children face when it comes to schooling. In this video, I will explain how foster youth is not provided with the education resources or academic support they need. The public universally agrees that education is one of the most important tools to build a successful and enriching life. There is no doubt on the importance of access to education, especially for children. However, while there are many advocacy groups that push for this, they commonly leave out one of the most underserved populations in education, foster care experienced children. On top of the insignificant advocacy for foster youth, there is a lack of awareness on the several challenges they face. In regards to the child welfare system in general, a national poll demonstrated that about 83% of adults know close to nothing about the experiences of youth in foster care. The lack of general public awareness acts as a heavy barricade that prevents further help for this population and becomes a problem when it comes to prioritizing their access to education and college completion. With provided data by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Children's Borough from 2016, it is roughly estimated that there are over 443,000 youth in foster care, and in, in a finding of more than 430,000 of these individuals, only about 50% will graduate from high school and as little as 3% will ever earn a bachelor's degree. Statewide and regional studies found that from high school, only about 42% will graduate by age 18 and 64% will graduate by age 19. As previously stated, there is not much conversation about this dilemma. If we look at early childhood education and young children in foster homes, they aren't given the same attention as a young child would in their own home. Access to early education is recognized as child rights universally and by the United Nations. And yet, circling back to the absence of information about the educational lives of children in foster care, we simply do not know if or how the rights to education, health, and social life are upheld. From a young age, children within foster youth encounter education roadblocks through any stage of their life. In observing how foster youth are not provided with the education resources or academic support they need, we see that they face obstacles such as frequent and abrupt changes in school placement, unstable social support and financial resources, enrollment delays, plus lack of access to adequate health care and untreated mental and behavioral health issues. Those that manage to complete their studies and attempt to transition into post-secondary education then face new challenges such as lack of knowledge on how to navigate the post-secondary processes, insufficient financial aid, and lack of a support staff with the training and resources needed to provide effective support. The value of a support role in anyone's life is without a doubt incredibly significant to their own well-being. For foster youth, the absence of a support system is a predominant hindrance at any life stage. The benefits that result and perpetually bloom from a long-term, consistent, and reliable supportive relationship, specifically with a caring adult, are vast. In today's society, it would be vastly beneficial to spread awareness and increase attention on children in foster care and former foster youth, and even greater to expand that attention to their education, specifically post-secondary pathways and college completion. One way to fill the absence of education resources and academic support for foster youth transitioning to higher education, creating comprehensive post-secondary education programs or pre-college outreach programs tailored to foster youth is a fantastic and incredibly beneficial objective. Current day examples include federal TRIO programs like Agbor Bound, Gear Up, and many locally based programs like Blueprint College. We find that an effective pre-college program for foster youth consists of exposure to personal, academic, social, and psychological resources, and information about federal, state, and local supports. Access to counseling and therapy for foster care experienced youth would be a great way to help them adjust in their lives and better function when faced with troubles, including emotional dissonance. Foster care experienced youth have mentioned how having self-awareness lets them gain the ability to assess their needs and seek out resources and support. These propositions are but a small example of what could be done to not only provide more support and security among foster youth, aiding them from their past experiences and for the well-being of their future academically and overall, but open an umbrella of help over impacted related groups that don't achieve salvation in education. 
We have the ability to acknowledge the profundity of impactful challenges facing foster youth, including those that start from a young age through those that occur in the stages of transitioning to post-secondary education and the importance of a support system for these groups, tied directly with the infrequent availability of this vital resource, among other resources foster youth is deprived of. Endless benefits could be cultivated by creating access to counseling and therapy, implementing full-service post-secondary education programs, increasing regulation on foster care processes and child protection services, and more than anything, amplifying awareness for foster care youth as a prominent population plus their experiences and challenges. We as a nation urge for access to education for everyone, acknowledging it as one of, if not the, most important resources for an individual to have, especially for children. I urge each and every individual to at the very least be alert when this topic comes up, being aware of their own voice in the dialogue of foster care, and to push for the rights of foster youth everywhere. Thank you.